that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Oh, good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Good night. Good night! Kitty, what is all this racket about? Oh, Peter! Oh, Peter! I saw him! I saw him! He's here in this house! He almost killed me! The gorilla! The gorilla! Oh, it was all got a hold of me! Quiet! You have been dreaming. Oh, no. What's oh, that? Oh, I don't know. I'm telling you, I don't know anything. Call the police. Call Mr. Stevens. He'll kill me. Somebody. Quiet! Can't you? No, I can't. I can't stand here. We'll all be murdered. Mr. Stevens! Mr. Stevens! Are you calling me, Kitty? Oh, Mr. Stevens! Oh, no, sir. I ain't hysterical. I seen him like I said, sir. Now, Kitty, you're imagining things. Just you go back to bed. That's oh. what I said, sir. Only there is this. The gorilla's paw. No! Should I call the police, sir? Police? Yes, yes. Call them right away. Just a minute. I'll handle this my own way. Yes, sir, only... Only what? I was thinking of the time, sir. Time? According to the newspapers, the gorilla gives his victim only 24 hours' notice. <laughs> oh. Oh, nonsense. Now, you go back to bed and don't worry about this. Back to bed? Who, me? Oh, don't go back to bed. I'm not particularly interested where you go. Oh, well, Mr. Stevens! Yes, but... I... Please. Just a minute. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Yeah, but... I wouldn't be frightened like that if I were you, Kitty. Look, you'll be frightened any way you want. This is my way. Hello. I begged you not to telephone me here. Yes, I know I promised, but... you gave me until Monday. Saturday? Tomorrow? I can't possibly raise that amount of money. Yes, I know I owe it to you, but a quarter of a million dollars would be reasonable. Now, please be patient. I have a plan, but it's only just started. Give me time to work it out, and I'll repay you dollar for dollar. Hello. important that I see you at my home tomorrow evening without fail. Sign it fondly, Uncle Walter. Read that back, please.
I'm Norma Denby. Mr. Stevens is expecting you, Miss Denby. May I take your coat? Oh, no, thank you. I'll keep it on. Nice, cozy little place your uncle has here. He likes it. He had to live in it. This way, please. Well, 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 if it isn't the prodigal niece. Oh, it's swell seeing you again, darling. Good to see you again, too, dear. I took the liberty of bringing along my conquest. Good, I'm glad you did. This is Jack, Uncle Walter. <laughs> this niece of mine isn't much of a correspondent. What few letters she did write, though, were full of you. Congratulations, young man. Thank you, and I hope you'll excuse me for barging in like this. Nonsense, I'm delighted. I was more than pleasantly surprised to hear that you set your marriage for June. Do you realize it's only a month away? Well, we decided we didn't want to rush things too much, so... So, oh, we put it off until... <laughs> the day after tomorrow. <laughs> the day after tomorrow? Does that startle you? Why... Why, no, no, that's fine. That's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> but I'm forgetting my role as host. Sit down, my dear, sit down. We may as well come to the point. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Norma alone, Mr. Stevens. Oh, no, no, not, a, not at all. As Norma's future husband, what I have to say concerns you, too. Now, as Norma knows, she and I were named joint heirs under the terms of her father's will. And uh, until she marries, I'm the executive of her estate. But should anything happen to either of us, why then uh, the survivor inherits the entire estate. And I think that you, Norma, and you, Jack, as her future husband, should know of what that estate consists. To that end, I prepare a record of the estate's holdings. And I want to talk it over with you both after dinner. But your radiogram said there was something urgent. Well, uh, if it hadn't been urgent, I... I wouldn't have sent it. Well, something's worrying you. What is it, Uncle Walter? Well, perhaps I'm unduly alarmed, but... Last night, I received this note of warning from the gorilla. The gorilla? You mean that murderer, the one the papers have been so full of? I do. But isn't it possible that this is all just a joke, that someone's playing a prank on you? I wish I could think so. But Uncle Walter, why should he or anyone want to kill you? I don't know. Oh, it's possible that some old enemy of mine, I admit I've made enemies in my day, it's possible that one of them, in the spirit of revenge, has hired this, this maniac, this professional killer, or whatever the gorilla is. This note is exactly like the one that was in the newspapers. After he murdered that widow. Still, I can't bring myself to believe it. Of course you've notified the police. No, I haven't. But surely, if there was anything in all this... I've taken other precautions. Peters and I are armed. And in addition, I've engaged the services of a private detective agency. Their operative should be here any moment now. Oh. Well, obviously, this gorilla is no ordinary murderer at all. And judging by his past, uh, shall we say, uh, successes, it is apparent that the workings of the police were an open book to him. Of course, it's a slim chance that uh, by not notifying the police, we might upset his plans. Ordinarily, I'm not easily frightened, but I must admit this whole affair is giving me the creeps. Well, it's nearly nine o'clock. I suppose you freshen up a bit. We talk it over after dinner. Kitty, show Miss Demi to the green room and Mr. Marsden to my room. Yes, sir. Don't worry, Uncle Walter. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Stevens. Yes, Kitty? Oh, I know it's customary to give notice. Why, Kitty, you're not trying to tell me you're going to leave me. Oh, no, sir. I'm trying to tell you I have left you. But, Kitty, you're perfectly safe here. Besides, we have guests. You haven't the heart to leave me now. Well, my heart is willing, but I'm going to have an awful time trying to convince the rest of my body. That body in every room. That body won't hurt you. Can't do you any good. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Who did it? 
You! Get the record tonight, Chief. Make an autograph. Uh, keep doing that once in a while. It keeps me on edge and thinking. Right. Now, what do you suppose they want detectives for? I've got an idea. Uh, let's go in and find out. You're terrific. Mitchell, it's a speaking. Uh, of course. Who are you? Me? Why? I'm Peter, sir. Never mind that. Never mind that. What's your name? Peter, sir. Uh, just a minute. Just a minute. Where were you last night? I beg your pardon. Oh, so you did do something. I don't like your looks. What's that got to do with it? This is no beauty contest. I'm Garrity. Hannigan, Mulligan. Garrity. I sent for you because I need protection. My life's been threatened. Now tell me, any clues? One very vital one. This warning from the gorilla. That's well. You've got nothing to worry about. Mark that down, Garrity. Right. How do you spell gorilla? Two R's or two L's? Gorilla, gorilla. G O R G G G O O G O Gorilla. <laughs> Did, did you, did you, woo, 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 did you say gorilla? Why, gentlemen, you're not afraid. Oh, no, no, we're not afraid. No, we no. just thought maybe no. we... Thank you very The gorilla much. coming here? It was nice to have met you, Mr. Stevens. Quiet! Quiet! I, uh, I've already taken the precaution of arming my servant and myself. And I think you'll find that every door and window is securely bolted. I couldn't have done better myself. With us on a job, Mr. Stevens, you've got nothing to worry about. What's your plan, Mr. Harrigan? Well, first we'll take a look around the house. Come on, then. Now, you just sit tight, Mr. Stevens. <laughs> the gorilla will get you over our dead bodies. <laughs> dead bodies. <laughs> Men. Probably the detectives your uncle hired. Jack, I'm terribly worried. What are we going to do? Well, it seems there isn't anything we can do yet. Listen, darling, it isn't that I'm trying to appear skeptical. It's just that, well, somehow I can't make myself believe all this. But that note, you saw the note. Of course I did, but still I... Look, darling, we'll wait. We'll wait and see if something really does happen. But what if it does? I just don't believe it will. 